Hello, everyone, and good evening. Welcome. Yeah. Can you hear me well? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how's it going, people? Welcome to class. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's just start with our let's just start with the homework. Why don't we start with volunteers? Raise your virtual hand. Raise your virtual hand if you're ready for your home presentation. Can I can I see virtual hands up? Do we have any virtual hands up? Do we have any volunteers? Again, teacher. Who? Who's that? Yes. Carlos, uh, is that you? Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, in agent, uh, the fence fish the bright. Uh, in Morocco, uh, uh, a three-day party. In Mexico, they throw rice when leaving uh, the the church. The church, the church, yeah. They, they uh, throw rice. Uh huh. That's right. Yes, rice. Uh, in Germany, okay. Uh, a squire, okay. Of the broken dicers. Wow, you found a lot of information, not only from one country, oh. you searched like five countries. <laughs> That's better, even better, Carlos. Thank you so much. Go ahead, Nelson. I see you want to share your homework. Yes, yes, teacher. Um, wedding in Norway. Norway, okay. Yes, the wedding ceremony begins when the bride and, and groom exchange gold or silver rings. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's interesting. The, the music is played by violins. By violins. So violin music, that must be special. Yes, yes. There is traditional song. Called um, come to the wedding. Wedding, uh huh. Wedding. All right. Uh -huh. Pretty interesting, Nelson. The speeches are very important. The speeches, of course. Speeches, speeches. Mm -hmm. Family and friends make speeches for the bride and groom. The food is served at a buffet. Uh, served. Yeah, the food is served. Served, huh? buffet table. The end on the party is when the bride hands out a slice, a slice of, slice of, or cheese with mm. honey. Slice, a slice of cheese with honey? Mm. Yes, yes. This is a sign for the guest. <laughs> They they understand that it is time to leave. Oh, that's the that's the signal that yes, it's time for yes, them to yes. disappear. Yes. Pretty interesting. Thank you, Nelson. Let's go with Jose Cibrian. Go ahead, Jose. Okay. okay hey, hi. Good evening. Uh, I I want to talk uh, about the uh, Indian. India. Indian land. Yes, right. Indian land. Uh, uh, only only for one year, uh, they are they are a uh, they uh, married a uh, and girl a girl with a uh, and dog. Only one only uh, only one time. Only one time for years. Uh, they they true they true. Uh, uh, maybe the coming, the coming, uh, good luck for for uh, all land. 
for all countries. Okay, so they do that once a year, correct? Yes, yes. What time? Uh, una vez al año. Uh -huh. Pasan una niña con un perro para que venga buena suerte para todo el país. They do this. Only for Indian. All right, I appreciate that information, Josue. Let's go with Iris Rosario. Okay. Teacher, this Hi. is tradition. Hi. This is tradition. Thank you, Josue. Uh, I also have an Indian teacher, but it's different information. All oh, right, please share, please share. Okay. Um, India, Wendy, use symbolism, music, and traditional celebration of three, of three days before the marriage. It begins with the party where a um, meeting is uh, performed, the courage, her hands, uh -huh. the pains. Um, on the second day, they have a ceremony where they breathe in room. The bride, the bride. The, the bride, a resume um, in the body, are Mary the torment, torment in the body. Okay, okay. Okay, finish. Pretty interesting, also about India. Thank you, Iris Benitez. Let's go with Byron Avalar. Come on in, bro. Byron. Is waiting in Italy. Italy, that should be romantic. <laughs> in some regions in Italy, bride and groom have to cut a lot into with a double handle. Mm -hmm. So after the wedding, this symbolizes the couple's partnerships in marriage. Another nice tradition is trying a ribbon in front of the church. Loyalty also, right? It's, a, it's representing how they will be loyal to each other. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Avalar. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's move on. Let's proceed with Elvia Perez. Good evening. Welcome. Come on in. Uh, the wedding, uh, the Turkey or Turkey? How do you say? In Turkey. Okay. Turkey, yes, Turkey. Yes. Uh, the wedding is paid uh, by the family of the bride, is usually in the other uh, countries. I oh, think that's, so. <laughs> that's good for men. That's good for us, guys. That's good for us. Uh, the coffee is usually served with salt and pepper salt and pepper coffee uh -huh, with salt yes. and pepper For, okay because uh, how do you say toser cough cough uh, cough okay eh, de, es, no, no sé cómo decirlo de que si el novio no tose es buena señal okay if the groom doesn't cough it's a good mm -hmm. signal Okay. Uh, alcohol is not usually served at celebrations. Okay, bad for Salvadorians. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the celebration of weddings can last up to three days. Three days? Yes. Isn't it too it's much? A good party. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long party. Mm -hmm. Big yes. time. <laughs> wow. That is in where? Would you say Turkey? Yeah, in Turkey, Turkey is kind of a rich country, I believe. All right. Thank you, Elvia. That was so oh, interesting. All right. Let's go with Arnulfo. Proceed. Come on in. Good evening. Be my guest. Uh, good evening, teacher. Can you see me? Uh, I can see you now. Yeah, I can see you. Well, wait. I don't know like... what happened with my camera right now. Yeah, your camera is know. acting out. You can deactivate your camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. No problem. Well, DJ, uh, I was searching some information about the wedding tradition. What did you and find? In this, in this case, uh, I found some information about the wedding in France. France, I like that. In Europe. Yeah. Uh, I read that in France, uh, the bride is not the center of the attention. Uh, oh, no? They focus, 
No, they, they focus uh, in the union of the two family, right? The union of the two uh, families. The two families, uh -huh. Families. Uh, they, families, okay. Uh, they do a wedding procession on the wedding day. Uh, it is oh. customary uh, that the groom goes to the house to pick out the bride. Uh, after that, uh, they have a ceremony in the shore, but uh, they don't have a grossman. I don't know why, but they don't have grossman. Okay. And finally, uh, they go to the house. Uh, they had a big dinner with all the guests. Okay, okay. It sounds a little different. Uh, how do you yeah. like that? How do you like that type of ceremonies? Do you like that? Um, maybe. Yeah, it's it's kind of different, but I like uh, the way where you said that the 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 bride is not the center of the attention, but the fact that the two families, the bride's family yeah, and the groom's family, focus. are getting yeah. together, right? And 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 a new society uh, starts, right? Yeah, it's a little different. It sounds good. It sounds uh, good, you know. As El Salvador, yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. Thank you so much, Arnulfo. That was pretty interesting. You're welcome. You comply with the objective. Let's go with Elmer Salas. Go ahead. Be my guest. Hi, DJ. Nice to see you. Go ahead. Sharing time. Share, share, share. <laughs> I investigate uh, the traditional wedding Igbo, Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. Africa. Yes. Tell us about <laughs> it. You went very far away. Uh, uh, in the traditional is uh, make the bride list. Okay. Yes, in the, the list. Uh, generally, generally for the mother, large stock fishes. Oh, yeah. Large Bag of rice, <laughs> two pair of shoes, bag of beans, no kidding, and fruit. Okay, all the basic grains. <laughs> that sounds yeah. good. Like, <laughs> yeah, all the food right there, getting ready, like like going to a camp. Yes, teacher. All right. Yeah, that's it. No more. Okay, needless to say, thank you, Elmer. We appreciate it. And we're going to finalize, I think, with Brian. Is it Brian? Mundo? Yes, sure. All right, Mr. World with us. What's <laughs> up? Go ahead. Yes, that is my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher. I don't know what are the countries, but I found that in many countries, they spit on the wife. They spit on the yes. wife? I don't know why they do that, but they do it. <laughs> That's bizarre. Yes, sure. And another is uh, in, in a country, I don't know what is the country, but uh, they get married with uh, uh, their pets and their animals. And it's so crazy for me. <laughs> wow, getting married with your pet? Yes, uh, I, I wouldn't like that, but they do it. <laughs> no comments. All right, <laughs> yes. because now now pets, you know, you can get a ticket. Uh, my you, my pet, it's pet. like it's like my 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 song, uh, I guess, but not my love. <laughs> not a dog, huh? Well, you know, it's, it's like that in that. other countries. In other countries, yes. they treat animals and pets as family members. It's crazy people yeah. get depressed people cry a lot when the when the pet dies that's crazy yes, bro mm -hmm. yes ah so the there are there is another country uh, where the day uh, or wife try uh, no 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 the wife sister try to provoke to husbands and it's so crazy too <laughs> that's <know>. even worse <laughs> yes <laughs> only that 
amazing speaking activity, guys. Give it up for you. Congrats, congrats, congrats. We really, I really, really, really enjoyed this speaking task. Uh, it was a good idea um, from you, you know, having an oral for tonight. 15 minutes exactly. The ones who participated, they did. The ones who didn't participate, well, you have a debt. I hope you participate more in the future because the more you participate, the better opportunities your teacher has to um, check your English overall and, and give you corrections and give you suggestions or additional information. Okay. Uh, do I have hands raised? Uh, somebody, let me see. Arnulfo, you still have your hands raised. Sara, you want to say something, Sarah? Molina? In English, in English. Talk to me in English, um, Sarah. Okay. 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 In Tuhia, China, the bird moss every four degrees. One hour, a, hour a day for a month before the wedding day. It is a tradition to bring happiness to the married. Her mother and grandmother usually jo join. Yep. No sé si me entendió. <laughs> I did understand somewhat, somewhat. Okay, let me just go over the attendance real quick. I appreciate all your participation, all your participation. Let me call the attendance. Ana Julia Mayorga Rodriguez. Byron, okay, thank you, Ana. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present, good evening. Good evening, sir. Nice to hear you. Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here, teacher. I'm world. Mr. World with <laughs> us. What's going on? Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present, teacher. All right. Claudia Beatriz Ramos the most. Damaris Merari and Marroquin Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you, Damaris. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. All right, Elmer. And Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Here, teacher. Thanks. Emma Jamilev, Correa, Madrid. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Josibeth Abigail Miranda Chavez. I'm here, teacher. Thanks. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present, teacher. Joel Eulises Menjivar Mendoza. Josué Neftalí Cibrián Hernandez. Present, teacher. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Present, teacher. Kimberly Vanessa Avalos Serrano. Manuel uh, Alejandro Barillas Arce. I'm here, teacher. Awesome. Nice voice, sir. Nice tone of voice. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present, teacher. All right. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. All right, Monica. And Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. Are you here? Are you here? I'm here. Awesome. Nelson Rolando Melgar. I am here, teacher. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. I'm here, teacher. All right, Paul. Patricia Veronica Salazar de Morales. René David Calderón Peñate. Here, teacher. Okay, René. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Good evening. I'm here. All right, good to hear. Sara, Mo, Sara Maria Molina Cuvias. I'm here. Saul I... Arnulfo Menjivar Crespin. Me escucho, Present. 
Yes, I did, Sarah. Thank you. I'm here. Thank you, Saul. I appreciate it. Let me see if I can share my screen. Okay, it's taking a while. We're gonna see a pronunciation, an exercise based on pronunciation. Let's see if the platform can work faster tonight or my internet connection is not good enough. Okay, one sec. One sec. There it is. Oh, okay, there you go. Let me share now my screen, guys. My system is buck up. Pronunciation, stress and rhythm. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then, practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Listen okay, guys, remember that at this level, you are intermediate level. It's highly important for you to find the right stress and for you to find the right rhythm. The rhythm in your speech is really important because it's what it gives style when you're speaking, you know? So your intonation, your stress, and your rhythm, it's very important. It's very important not to go very, very fast or not to go very, very slow. You have to find the right rhythm. Okay? Let's watch this Notice out again. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony. Okay. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Can you try? <clears throat> when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. At a, at a shrine. The words that go stress are people, married, Japan, sometimes, ceremony, and shrine. Shrine. Okay. When, when put people... put the, um, deactivate your microphone. Deactivate your microphone. Listen to okay. the pronunciation. And in your house, by yourself, repeat it okay but with the micro with the microphone off turn off your microphone please no microphones right now no microphones excellent excellent don't activate your microphone just repeat it yourself just repeat it yourself in your house three two one if 
when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have this ceremony at a shrine. One more time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay, now activate your microphone. Let's see how it sounds. Activate your microphone. When people get married in people Japan, married. they when sometimes have when a ceremony people get at a married shrine. In Japan. People get married, married in Japan. Japan. A at a shrine. shrine. At a shrine. At a shrine. At a shrine. At a shrine. Hello, everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Listen and repeat yourself, yourself. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. The guests usually give money somewhat, somewhat. to the bride and ground. After the ceremony, there's a reception. There's a reception with family and friends. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Then present. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. After the ceremony, after the ceremony, there's a reception with family, reception and, with friends. family and friends. Next. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Before the guests leave, bride and groom give the presents. The guests... Before, the guests... Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Presents. Bride. 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 And a groom. Room. 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 Mouth, Room. mouth closed. Okay. Bride. Bride. Groom. And groom. Bride. And groom. Repeat. Guests. 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 It's plural. Guess. It's plural. Guests. 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 Listen. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Before they get before they leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The group have presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Here we go. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. The guests the usually guests give money to the bride and groom. 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 Good job, guys. Practice your intonation. Practice your rhythm. Let's go to the next topic. Let's continue with verbal clauses of time in this case. Let's move on. Hi, 
I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. Stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this. Hello, sentence. hello, teacher. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb? Yes, what happened? Hello? Somebody call me? Somebody call me, hello? Okay, let's continue. She is the subject, comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, all together is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. Stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Okay. So, what we're going to discuss now about is about the adverbial clauses. We have uh, several adverbial clauses, but uh, it's important to we're going manage before the basic ones first the basic one natalie go ahead natalie do you have a question to explain what's a clause i didn't get that clause is like a particle like a particle like a according to grammar you know it's a different type of um, preposition similar to a preposition but in this case it's a clause see it as a clause it's important to see each thing as it is right preposition is a preposition adjective is an adjective adverb is an adverb and clause is a clause you know the auxiliaries you know the module verbs so these are clauses clauses usually are used to connect ideas they are used to connect 
long ideas. And these are just some examples like when, after, and before, adverbial clauses. Now, analyzing the first example, when people get married in Japan, if you, if you say, when people get married in Japan, that is incomplete, right? Is incomplete. So you need a complement. You need an outcome. You need a result after that. In this case, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have a ceremony at a shrine. Okay? Can we try to give an example from our country? When people get married in El Salvador, can you give an example? Can you complete the rest? When people get married in El Salvador, they sometimes have the ceremony at the church. Correct. They sometimes, they sometimes have the ceremony at, at the at, church or at a church. After they are, uh, they have a, a big uh, dinner. Okay, let's go with after. After, after the food is after served. The food. After served, the food, after the is, food is served, served they have, they have the guests give the guest. speeches or sing songs. What happens uh, in the ceremonies in the Salvador after the food is served? What happened with the guests? They start they, to eat. They start eating. Okay, the they, guests start eating yeah for sure what else the guests are the guests are talking with other guests yes the guests start you can say the guests start talking with other guests okay thank you so much let's go with before before the guests leave before the guests leave the bride and the groom the bride and the groom give them presents in el salvador before the guests leave, what happens? The guests drinking. I could say, I could say before the guests leave, the guests take, or, or you could say they take pictures with the family and with the bride and groom. What else can you say? Before the guests leave, Mm, the wife regrets. <laughs> you can say you can say they give hugs to each other, huh? They give yeah, hugs it could be, it could to be. each other. Come on, man. Where is your positive <laughs> spirit? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's move Before on. the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session, we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Okay, an adverbial clause of time, because we have adverbial clause different, right? In this case, it's of time. What happens? It describes or defines the, the, the when something happens that when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when. Subordinating conjunction. Repeat guys, subordinating conjunction. Subordinating conjunction. What is the meaning of a subordinating conjunction? It means that when you use this type of clauses, the sentence is not complete. You need to connect the main sentence with the secondary sentence that tells the result, the outcome of this activity or, or, or a scenario you're talking about. Let's repeat them all. We have when, after, 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 before, 
before, before, before, before, before, before, before, since, 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 until, 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 while, 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 while whenever, 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 whenever. while, 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 until, 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 since, 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 before, before, after, 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 when, when, when. excellent. You should picture this information, guys, because your homework is based on this, okay? Your homework is based on this, okay? So you're going to start or to try to use these subordinating clauses to give examples. Do you have any question about this vocabulary? Do you understand it all? Uh, teacher, only yes. uh, until, 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 es solo para decir hasta o, o hasta que, o sea, se, uh -huh. se puede usar solo hasta o solo hasta que. Hasta. Solo hasta. Yes, sir. Ok, tenía esa duda. My pleasure. This is talking about time. This is talking about time. Thank you, Brian, Mr. World, for pasting that Teacher. picture. Yes, go ahead. Um, please, can you give uh, examples, uh, sencillo, please? An easy example using which one? What do you want? When, after, uh, before? Uh, what, um, the sensor. Which one? Since. 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 Pronunciation is scenes. Now, to, to, to start with, to start with, scenes is about a specific part of time. So we can say, since, since you are studying English every day, you will definitely become a bilingual person. Second example, since you save, save, since you save money every paycheck, you can buy a car at the end of the year. Yeah? Yes, teacher, thank you. My pleasure. Do you have any other question about this? Uh... Go ahead, miss. Uh, just to make sure, uh, after the subordinary conjunction, we use a normally sentence, right? Yes, you can use a simple present sentence and then you can connect it with future, you can connect it with whatever tense that makes sense. Do you still have any other question, guys? Are we okay? Okay, Arnulfo, go ahead, sir. Um, okay, teacher. Um, uh, we can use uh, this preposition um, at the beginning, in the middle, uh, or end. What is the place? These ones can be used in the middle and they can be used in the beginning. You can use it in the beginning or you can use it in the middle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually, or what we're learning right now is that we can use these ones in the beginning to talk about one situation, 
mainly, and then a second sentence um, expressing sort of a result. For example, for example, one example using when. Guys, when the weather is sunny, yeah? When the weather is sunny, you must be used. Uh, uh, if people go to the beach, glasses. you got it. You got it. Yeah. When the weather is sunny, people, people go to the beach. Now play with your rhythm. When the weather is sunny, when the weather is sunny, people go to the beach. Mm -hmm. it's hurting. <laughs> yeah. What about this one? What about this one? After, after. After, hey, yeah. I have a question for you. I have a question for you guys because you are in intermediate intermediate two, right? Intermediate two. Um, you still have a way to go, right? To advance. Well, you got to finish intermediate then. You go to advance. And then you graduate. God's willing. So let's, let's think about that part in the future. After you graduate this program, after you graduate, this program. Give me your result. I will, I will be a, a speaking language. <laughs> I will be a bilingual. Yes, I will be a bilingual. After you graduate this course, you will have a better job a better salary yes yes or no yes yes teacher yes yes but teacher. but but After we try. <laughs> but before before you graduate uh-huh before we need you to graduate, practice a lot of english <laughs> we must talk english <laughs> bingo music music to my ears yes you need to practice. You must be connected to your English classes with Inglés Corporativo. You must uh, meet your friends in person and practice because not only in line, you know, in person is very helpful too. Okay? Let's move on. Let's move on. After, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Check that out. Third person comes. When she comes home, this is simple present, isn't it? When she comes home, consequence, she will Ooh. read. Yeah? She will okay, read. Time. A she bedtime will story. Read. Bedtime. This is the outcome. This is the outcome coming from the first and main sentence using the subordinated conjunct. Okay, let's move on. All right. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb? She is the subject. Comes the verb. Now. When she comes home, altogether is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story. Is a yeah. When you say when you say when she comes home, what what the sentence is not complete, guys. You need to complete the sentence. Yes. When when she comes yes. home, uh, she can she can make the the dinner. Yeah, she can make dinner. Yeah. Or when she comes home, she can open the door for us. You need a consequence. You need an outcome. Versus she will read a bad story 
a bedtime story. This is the main clause. This is independent. It's correct and it's complete to say she will read a bedtime story. That's okay. Um, yes. But yeah, when you use the uh, subor their subordinated conjunction, it gives more elegancy to your speech. When you say when she comes home, uh huh. After I graduate, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Let's go. Main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. Ooh, look at that. Simple past. Before she went to school, before she went to school, she finished all her homework. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, yes. Can, can you identify, can you identify, let me see, the conjunction? Before what? she went to school. Before, right? Before, okay. And can you identify the verb? When. Went. 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 And finish. 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 I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. Because, let me see, we need to... Or independent clause, Here meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex mm -hmm. sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. Okay, so before is the subordinating conjunction or adverb. She was the subject and when was the verb. Before she went to school, before she went to school, this is the subordinated, subordinated conjunction, okay? And she finished all her homework. That's the main clause. That's the independent clause, whatever you want to call it. Verb. She, the subject, went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world. Okay, so the subordinated conjunction, it can go in the beginning or it can go in the middle. Remember, in the beginning or in the middle. Let's read the first one. Let's read the first one. Since, since they got married, since they got married, they have traveled around the world. Okay? And the other way, they have traveled around the world since they got married. Okay? So why don't we why don't we use scenes for our homework, huh? Why don't we use scenes for our homework? And you can try to use scenes in the beginning and in the middle. And I'm gonna let you choose another one. Subordinated conjunction. One, uh, I need examples. I need examples with scenes. Yes. And you can choose any other, you can choose any other uh, subordinated conjunction. You can choose when, when is very easy. You can choose whenever. Yeah, whenever. Okay. Whenever is also very easy. But, but remember, my selection is scenes. You need to give, you need to prepare examples with scenes and the <laughs> other conjunction, uh, you can choose it on your own. Okay. Please practice your examples, practice your English, guys. We're going to give examples like these tomorrow in the beginning of the class, the first block, as we did today, okay? 
Sure. Examples, oral examples. Let's call the attendance to finish with this class. Once again, thank you for your attendance. Let me pull this up. Give me one second, guys. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. You did great today. You did great. Let's see, Miss Ana Julia Majora Rodriguez. Are you still with us? Present. Present. Thank you, Mr. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present, teacher. Already, sir. Brian Eduardo World Medrano. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present, teacher. Let me see. And um, Claudia Beatriz Ramos de Mos. Missing in action. Damaris Merari Marroquin Rivas. Present. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Thank you, Damaris. Present, teacher. Thank you, Elizabeth El Carmen Mejia Torres. Good evening, teacher. All right, you made it. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present, teacher. All right, Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Here, teacher. Great, Emma Jamilet Correa Madrid. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Missing in action. Josivet Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. It is Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present, teacher. Joel Ulises Menjivar Mendoza. Josue Neftali Cibrian Hernandez. No, I'm here. All right. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. I'm here. Thank you. Kimberly Vanessa Avalo Serrano. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Present teacher. Thank you, Marbelli. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Great. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. Nelson Rolando Melgar. I am here, teacher. Oscar, Eduardo, Guardado, Delgado. Present teacher. All right, thank you so much. Let me see. Oscar, got it. And Pablo Reyes, Pineda Alvarenga. Present. Patricia Veronica Salazar Morales. Okay, missing in action. René David Calderón Peñate. Present, teacher. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Present. Thank you. Sara Maria Molina Cuvias. Present. All right. And Saul Arnulfo Menjivar Crespin. Present. Already, let me take a picture. Let me take a picture of you because I'm very happy with your performance. Hey guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Please um, prepare some examples using the subordinated clause, um, the subordinated conjunction. Uh, since, remember, you can use it in the beginning or in the middle. And you can choose another conjunction of your own. Any question before we disconnect? No. All right. Yes. Say goodbye, people. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. See you good tomorrow, night. teacher. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Enjoy it. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Sweet night. Bye-bye, everyone. See ya, see ya, see ya.